Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. Hi, and welcome to Finish It Friday or Crafting Friday, whichever way you prefer to call it, because some days we work on stuff that we need to finish, and other days we actually work on... Wow, it's like they time it, isn't it? I don't know how. Can you mute it? I don't know how. This way? No, that's not doing anything. Oh, well. Anyway, sorry about that. Where were we? Oh, oh, oh yeah. So sometimes, hey, Kelly. So sometimes we work on um, things that we need to finish. And sometimes we work on brand new things. So today is one of those days where I'm like, mm, not really sure. Um, let me get rid of that banner on the bottom. Because... I think Madison. Sorry. Thank you. Hi, Belinda. There. Better. Now Thank you guys can see a full screen. Hi, Belinda. Okay. So while we wait for some folks to come in, okay, I am going be right to back. be, okay, I'm going to um, start with the um, ticket giveaway for the, um, and again, my camera is crooked. I keep smacking this thing. Hi, Kat. All the time. Hello, my Florida friend. Hello, Kat. So anyway, today we're going to be playing with some stuff that you see on the table, which is going to be very fun. So I'm kind of excited because uh, it's kind of like a try it, finish it, you know, crafty day. So if you've got shrinky dinks, go get them. Hopefully you all got shrinky dinks from us already, the sheets. And they're called shrink sheets, not shrinky dinks. Shrinky dinks is a trademark, right? So, Hi, Cindy. hey, Cindy. So if you got shrink it sheets, go, go get, get them. them. In the meantime, though, I'm going to get started on this while everyone's popping in here. So this is the um, giveaway, the ticket, right? The, the ticket um, giveaway uh, for the bonus giveaway that we're doing tomorrow, <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> This was for the folks that uh, completed the survey on the make colors, right? So, and you guys voted, we are doing purple and teal, not necessarily together, um, but there's going to be a team purple and team teal. Those are going to be our main focus colors for the month of May. So start thinking ahead. What do I want to do with some teal? Those I colors look really nice. Plastic dangles. So oh, perfect. There you go. Yeah, here's some teal and purple together, and they do look beautiful. Oh, that looks blue on screen. It's teal. So you guys voted. We've heard. Those are going to be our colors for the upcoming month. Again, if you're not part of the Facebook group, you definitely want to join because there's all kinds of giveaways and challenges and fun stuff. Now, today, I don't know if you guys I saw... Feel. Hi, Phil. I don't know if you guys saw in the Facebook group that I already posted the um, the challenge for the next, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do 24, 48. Um, I had to delete a bunch of comments, sadly, and I'll tell you why. So the, the fun challenge for today was that I posted this morning or afternoon is the word television is set to be able to make over a hundred words. So you can make a lot of words out of the word or the letters in the word television. Mm -hmm. And your assignment was to go ahead and put in those words in the comments. However, one of the stipulations was you have to wait for somebody to comment before you post again. And that's just so one person doesn't come in and do like 40 and wipes them all out, right? So you have to take turns. You can post as many times as you want. Just wait for somebody else to post and then post again. Unfortunately, most people did not read the rules and they ended up commenting back to back to back to back. So I had to go through and delete a mess of comments. But the good news is that again, you can go back in and um and post again and then from those folks again we're going to pick tickets so that you guys will be entered into a bonus giveaway tomorrow and i hope those are fun in the facebook group we're trying to 
to make sure that everyone can participate and, you know, just have fun in the Facebook group. So you never know what each day is going to, to bring. Make sure you keep mm -hmm. checking back. Okay, so these are the names that commented. So let's put them in the jar. And then I think we had quite a lot of results. So I think we're going to go with three names. Now, of course, it's um, for each challenge that we do, you can only have one ticket. But again, they're daily challenges. So you can get tickets in here daily. Okay, now, how is everybody's week so far? Is it good? It is Friday. So Fridays are always, yeah, yeah. Fridays are always our day to like well for us it's to get ready for the sale which is of course the highlight of our week which the sales tomorrow but for most folks it's your starting to relax day right it's six o'clock eastern standard time so a lot of you are off work already of course some of you are retired anyway but the weekends are always fun right now of course, we hope that the whole week has been super productive. So why don't you guys, hey, Lisa, why don't you guys share with us one thing that you worked on this week? Was there anything you worked on? Did Whether you question about the television challenge. Sure. One second. So one second. Okay. So, so whether it was you worked on washing your windows <laughs> or maybe you worked on a journal, why don't you share with us something that you have worked on an accomplishment for this week? And I'll think of one for me. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got a good one. I'll tell you in a second. All right. Now we can read the question. Madison? I did have a question about the television challenge. When you say the word is, could we place or think right about any long spelling? Or yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to be technical. Like if it's a country or the name of a person, like, you know, if television can sp spell Cindy, right? Cindy, that's fine. It's not technical. Kelly says Madison Challenge. Ah, you worked on the Madison Challenge. I know. We were like, okay, no video on Friday. So we couldn't we couldn't see your video today. But I hope that um when is the next one, Kelly? Belinda organized craft papers in new use filed Cabinet. cabinets. Cool. Nice. So how are you sorting them? Are you sorting them by color, by company? We're done for Julie's monthly challenge, Kat says. Cool. Nice. See, that's productive. We're and on the moving into the Facebook group. Nice, Cindy. Perfect. See, that's a good goal right there to participate more in the Facebook group. Kat says tomorrow I'll get my stuff together for next hour. Obviously, it'll be Saturday. Otherwise, it'll be Sunday. Okay, cool. Cool. So hopefully tomorrow then, right? If. If. Make sure you post it in the group so I don't miss it. I'm sure it'll be in the morning, but I'll still try and pop in there. Saturdays are our crazy day, right? That's our busy day. Oh, let me get rid of that cart. Hang on one second. Sorry, guys. Da, da, da. Let's go get rid of that. Kelly says she's labeling stamp boxes. <laughs> still? Oh, my God, Kelly. It's the never-ending story, you poor thing. But it's going to feel so good when it's done. Oh, that's going to feel. Now, have you found that you have a lot of repeats? Do you have a lot of dupes or no, Kelly? You've done good. All right, ready, Madison? Let me get the jar. Let me get some tickets. So these are the folks that are in the jar so far. All right, Madison. We'll Hi, do. Abril. Hey, Abril. I'm going to, to, to Odessa for soccer tournament. Oh, wow. Well, good luck, Angel, if you can hear me. Okay, come on, Madison. What, are the, what does the name Odessa mean? All right, it's a place. All right, go ahead. Pick one. Put it right here. Put it right here. Put it right here. Just drop it, baby. Two. Congrats. Hope Two it does good. And three. One more. Who's it going to be? I don't know, baby, until you drop them. Oh, there's four. Oh, so drop one. Back in. There you go. Okay. Drop it. All right. Our pff, wrong way. <laughs> Our winners are Wendy B. Congratulations, Wendy. Ready? Hang on. She gets a ticket. 
Yes, it is. Cindy, she's just said he's very busy. It is. Wendy B. in the jar. There's next. Wendy Wacky Warehouse. Hey, Triple W. Nadine is the next name in the yep. jar. Congratulations, Congratulations Nadine. Lady. And who's next? Where's the other one? And a look, a brill. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Chica. You're in the jar. Okay, so for those of you who have missed it, we are um, having like a lot of little giveaways or not giveaways, challenges in the Facebook group. Cool. Lisa's working on a 49 market little book. Cool. I can't wait to see it because you can post it, Lisa. And remember to use the hashtag little birdie for this month. Okay, so let's talk about that really quick before I get busy crafting and then it's over, right? So if you go to Facebook and you go to our group, Spectrum Art Creation Friends, we have um, this challenge going on right now, okay? So let me read to you the full <laughs> instructions because some folks missed it. Get a ticket in the bonus Saturday giveaway. Winners are picked at random like you just saw. Supposedly, you can create 104 words from the word television. No repeats, so be sure to look at the previous comments before posting or it won't count. So if somebody has, let me see what word has been used so I don't give away anything. Okay, so here's vision, right? If somebody already has a vision before you and you type it in because you missed it, you won't get a ticket for that, right? Uh, what else? One word per comment, so don't do a whole bunch of them, just one word. And then here's the one everyone missed. You can post as many times as you like, Hi, Angel. but you must wait for someone else to take a turn before you post again. So you have to alternate. Now, you can go, like, you know, wait for somebody to post and go again. Wait for somebody to post, go again. If you're that diligent and you're staying on top of it, then awesome. Now, we had almost 100 comments, and I deleted, like, half of them because people went back to back to back. So now you know you need to go and find this television right here, right? And just comment underneath of that. Okay? Just make sure you look up, make sure nobody's got that word, and then you can comment, okay? And get your name in the jar, and that's going to be for tomorrow. The ones that we just pulled was from the challenge from yesterday, which was pick your colors for the month of May, which again, teal and purple one. So those are gonna be the colors for May. Um, now, there's a whole bunch of challenges still up there, guys, because remember, we haven't finished April. So all of the challenges for April, I consolidated them all into one post for you. All you have to do is look for this pink gift card post Okay, it says want to win free gift cards, participate today. And at the top in the comments, I have told you the 10 different ways. That's 10 different gift cards you can win. Okay, and everything even has a link. So like I was just telling Lisa, when she's done to post a picture and use the little birdie hashtag. Well, if she wants to know what do I need to do, she'll click on little birdie and it's going to tell her exactly what it is. Okay, the deadline, the hashtag. Alrighty. Angel's here. Hi, Angel. A Good to says, see you. Hi, says, hi. A girl says, thanks, Belinda. What? Why? Uh, what? What? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, because she's congratulating Abril. You got a ticket in the jar for a bonus giveaway for tomorrow. Um, Abril. Okay. So again, make sure you're checking out the Facebook group. Make sure you're participating in the challenges. Make sure that you are submitting all of your... Um, submitting your pictures of your projects because guess what there's a bunch of gift cards coming at the end of the month guys and you don't want to miss it right okay so that hopefully clears that so any questions on the facebook group any questions on the challenges any questions on the current challenge the one with the word television any questions on any of the challenges Oh, cool. Yes. Any questions on anything? Actually, here, look, I did this yesterday or the day before. There are 10 gift cards, and they're going to be given away. Now it's more like 11 or 10 days. So you got 10 days still left to create. So get creating. You already voted for the colors in May. That's done. The challenges are now going to be monthly, not every two months. 
So we're going back to the old way of doing it. Uh, we are live right now. We will be live tonight with the VIPs. So don't forget to come hang out if you're a VIP. Uh, if you're part of the Academy and a VIP, you get to join the craft along tonight. A craft along craft night. Sorry. And then tomorrow we will be back sale. for our sale. And then on Sunday, we have a class for those mm -hmm. of you in the Academy. You have a class at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. That changed. The calendar said 6 o'clock. And this calendar is available in the Facebook group. You yes, can print Melinda. it. Melissa's ready. Can I use the television to let word work the once? Can you use the television in Word more than once? So you can use each letter one time, right? So if there's two E's, you can use two E's. If there are two I's, you can use two I's. But since there are no two T's, you cannot use two T's, only one. Sorry, Maddie, I should read letters, not let's. Oh, sorry, Maddie, I should. It should read letters, not let's. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So I did kind of understand it. You see, I answered it right. Anyway, going back to Sunday, Sunday, the calendar says 6 p.m. Do not show up at 6 p.m. Please make sure four. you show up at four. Okay. For class and all that information is already up. For those of you in the academy, you have your supplies and all that goodness, right? Okay. Any questions? Thank you, Belinda. Great question. Any other questions? before I get cranking and I get playing. Because remember, I can't stay super long today. Um, we have VIP night at eight. So I gotta be out of here. I don't know, at least give me 10 minutes to go get some water and get, you know, ready for VIP night. So, so I have to be out of here person. like 7.45. None. It's, a, it's about the one person that put in none. That was, that was confusing. They put in none? And then they also tagged it, the same person. So I don't have any idea. Who knows what they were talking about, Cindy? But none is not a word. Not with television. Not with those letters. Who knows, right? Okay. Yeah. Good one. I have no idea. Oh, and some people were hashtagging too. They don't have to hashtag. It won't affect anything though. Because what I'll do is I'll go through the comments and Good that's one. how I'll do the tickets one by one. Yeah, exactly. No worries. Thank you, though, Cindy. Yeah, hopefully they'll correct that. But the ta hashtags are not needed. Okay. Do you guys know what this is? It looks like a tortilla grill. It's not. It's my scissors. It looks like a pancake grill. It does look like I'm going to make pancakes. Who wants pancakes? Order up. No, flip them. I'll flip them for you. Yeah, right. I would, I would not be the person for a cooking channel. Now, if you want to have a cooking channel where things go wrong, no, I'm kidding. I'm not a bad cook. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a bad cook, but I'm definitely not a foo foo cook. I'm one of those cooks that is practical, like the all American everyday family. How's that? I don't do all of that fancy smancy stuff, mm -hmm. you know? I, there was a time in my life when I did get into that groove where, you know, you know, when we are like married and the kids are growing up and you want to do organic and this and that. And, you know, you go out there, especially, you know, when you're like trying to be super housewife. Um, yeah, those 10 years so are gone. Okay, I'm calling you to go show how this thing works. I'll call you going to show how this thing works. Yes, it does. So this is, oh, let me see what it's called actually. She's a, we, good, she's a good cook. Oh, thank you. I am, but practical. So this is called the Shrink Plastic Accessories, and we do have them officially in store. So they are here in-house. And what it is, is, and I could, I had to get one for me. That's how it all started. And then, of course, I got a couple or a few extras for the store. But I had to play with this because Madison and I have always loved doing shrinky dinks. You know, and we do them the traditional way that everyone does in the oven and all that stuff. But... Then I saw this amazing, awesome little tool. And what it is, is it's got a silicone mat, so it protects your surface. It's got a silicone mesh, okay? And it also comes with this tool right here. This is a tamper. 
right? So that you can flatten your designs. And this, of course, is so you Hi, can move Teary. stuff around. Hey, Kateri. So you can move stuff around and not burn your fingers, okay? So it's basically an all-in-one. Um, and this, to me, was the most attractive part because sometimes when you do larger shrinky dinks, right, they will start to bend and then sometimes they touch and it's done. It's ruined because then it's just, you know, it's melted together, right? So say you have a big old butterfly, for example, and you make that butterfly and those wings start to curl and then touch, then that is a dead shrinky dink. This actually will keep it flat. So it prevents it from actually curling and touching. So I was like, okay, let's try it. Let's see. So I brought out some stuff to play with. We'll see. I uh, have some Posca pens here because Posca pens, of course, hey, Nadine, Posca Hi, Nadine. pens are going to definitely work. I also got some alcohol inks because I've never tried Shrinky Dinks with alcohol ink. And I figure, why not? Maybe we'll give it a whirl. Hello. Hello. I got two different types of inks just to see which one will work best. Um, Graphic 45 Classic Black is always my go-to. And the reason why it's a hybrid ink. So no matter what I'm going to work with, whether it's alcohol, Copics, oh. uh, anything, anything at all, watercolor pencils, uh, anything I'm going to use, I know it's it's going to be permanent, right? But it has a longer drying time, especially on plastic. So, so I'm like, hmm, this is stays on, of course, and stays on is a solvent ink, and it is permanent as well, much faster drying than graphic 45 because that's a hybrid hybrid excuse me um but it does run with copics so or alcohol so mm, 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 mm. anyway we'll have to see we'll try them both we never know i've got some of the shrink sheets that we sold now you want the frosted side up not the shiny side so always work and bake on the frosted side um, I also got, because again, you know, if you do smaller things, it's not too bad, but I purposely want to try and see how far we can push this thing to prevent things from curling and getting ruined. So I went ahead and pulled some of these yummy bigger stamps from the store. This is an art by Marlene. This is a mandala. Oh, I got two of them here. Cool. These two are mandalas. One is called Boho Chic, and the other one's called Mandala. I can't see. Mandala Movement. Okay. So, hey, Cheryl. Yeah, we could try watercolor pencils. Why not? We can try whatever we want. So, I got these because they're huge. I got these because I figured those are super cool, like butterflies and dragonflies and a hummingbird. That's not too big. I want to see how far I can push. I know that all these little ones we can do for sure. Then I got a big old light bulb. Believe it or not, I've noticed one thing. I don't have a lot of large stamps because I usually work on journals, ATCs, tags. I am not notorious for having big stamps. So isn't that interesting when you go through your stash and you realize, huh, I got this one because it was one of the biggest ones I could find. This is the Tim Holtz uh, sewing blueprints. Yeah, this is like the fabric. And so it's got a large spool, a scissor, you know, a sewing machine, a dress form, and they're big. They're like as big as my hand. So those would be good to try. Let's see Hi, how far Cheryl. we can push this. So what should we start with? Should we start with a mandala? Or a light bulb, a light bulb, because it won't take that long to to color it in. Are you going to try water pencils? I'd love to see that. Yeah, I read that. And okay. we can. I'm going to use my smaller stamping platform because I think they can all fit on here. Mm -hmm. I think. I think. I think. And this is good. I haven't even used any of these stamps. Look at that. Well, some I have actually yeah we can go here okay so i say we start with the stays on mm -hmm. and then we'll try the graphic 45 next hey lindy hey lindy oh i need to re-ink this it's got boots uh well 
that's all right. We're just Hi, Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. We're just playing. So if it's not the best impressions, it's all right. It's all right. This is my one of my favorite tools, my stamping platform from We Are. It allows me to position it anywhere I want before I decide to stamp, which is awesome. All right, there we go. Oh, we got a good impression. That's good. Mm -hmm. We even got the little hairy like details. See them? Oh, yeah. All those little tiny, tiny like little details Hi, right Kim. there. Hey, Kim. We got him in there. So that's good. Good. Well, you're All right. welcome, Lindy. Let me sit fast and thank you for the nice note. It's on my computer. Oh. Should we touch it? Shall we touch it? Let's touch it. Well, that looks good. Let's try a darker area. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Know, have you been in our Have you been in our group? That is not bad. All right. Now let's try Pascas first, or should we try alcohol inks? Stamp, stamp good. Belinda says. Yeah, it's stamped pretty good. What do you think? Let's go with let's go with alcohol inks because this is a larger surface, and then for details we can come in with pasta. What are you gonna do? I have no idea. I don't even know if alcohol inks will work. Let's find out. Light bulbs are kind of yellow, and we might go outside, and that's okay too, right? These are not. These are regular, right? Yeah, no, no ball. Okay. Wear gloves. Oh, I forgot that this was stays on. That might not be good. Oh, starting to run. I forgot. And I even told you guys, stays on runs with alcohol. Mm, that's all right. Let's press on. Let's do some coral. Yeah, that was my fault. And it doesn't matter, by the way, what happens in the back. If it looks kind of messy to you and you're going, oh, my gosh, don't worry about it. Because, well, do I want to lift this right now mm -hmm. or do I want to dry it first? I think we need more yellow. Yeah. What's going to happen is, to, oh, wow. What's going to happen here? is going to be something else. Now let's let it dry oh, just a little Kim bit. Kim says I just popped in to say hi. Can't stay. Aw. Bye, Kim. Thank you so much. Good to see you, even if it was for just a second. Now I wish my little fan wasn't dead, but it's dead. I didn't charge it. My fault. Cindy says it's okay, but messy because you're going to shrink it, right? Yeah, I'm going to shrink it. I just I didn't want the ink to run, and it did. But just a little bit. I didn't it's not going to be too bad. Have a good day, Kim. I can't dry with a heat gun, no. <laughs> obviously, because I'd be shrinking it. Oops. Street, Maddie, now you need a chalk outline. Now what? Now all I need is a chalk outline. Why? Because it looks like blood. It looks like a murder scene. It's the crime scene. Scene. What's a scene? A crime scene. To watch and cook dinner. Says, What's for dinner? You know the rules. You got to share. Anyway, I want to show you. Oh, it might last. Hang on. You think so? Nope. It just died. Ah! Oh, I knew it. I'm going to dry some of this off because I want to mm -hmm. show you the reverse side. Hang on. Ham, hamburgers, baked potato. Wait, sorry. This is yeah. why you don't worry what happens on the other side. See, because Nothing. whatever blob you have here, you're still going to be able to see what you have stamped on that side. All right. Now let's do a combination. Now that I know I forgot. She I have you stays on. Hamburgers, baked beans, mac and cheese. Oh, yum. Let's use a gold pasta. Can you, can you mix Wait, no, they're silver. Silver, right? Because that one is dead. Angel says. My um, my fan, yeah. I got to plug it in. I got to find a charger for it. Ribs and corn, Angel says. Ooh. Good stuff, man. I know, right, Nadine? All the time. This is not the place to come when you're on a diet, okay? 
you're not making it is easy. All I did was put in um dump some alcohol. Now my fault was that okay. I even mentioned Hi Carrie. Hey Carrie. That I mentioned that don't use alcohol with stays on. It's the only thing. Stays on is great even on glass. It's good on everything. Um, acetate, plastic, acrylic, you name it. It's only nemesis. Glass. Can you go to the glass? So here's what I'm going to show you. So you're thinking, oh my gosh, how are you going to know where to stay in the lines? I'm not. I'm actually just going to color like this and look at what's going to happen. The lines are going to stay just the same. See? So I can be as messy as I want back here. It won't make a single bit of difference. So if you're not one of those like super patient, um, stay in the lines kind of person, and you're like, oh, I can't stand those crafts because I just don't want to stay in the lines. Well, guess what? You found one of your go-to projects right here because you do not need to stay in the lines at all. It won't even matter. So here's a blob. Here looks great. That works good because it blends colors in the soft look. I just used chalk pastel to color my shrink charms. Ice. Oh, cool. Yes. So see, that's the fun of it is to be able to mix and match all kinds of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Let's add some white elements here because I think that we kind of overdid. With your Posca pens, you want to shake and then you want to pump your nib. Let's add some white elements here to some yes, highlights. One second, please. Let's see how that looks. Kind of cool because it's kind of peeking through the, see, through the, um... okay, now let's try it. Here we go. I'm going to cut it out kind of big first just so I can manipulate it. And now we're going to come in. Now, if I want to do a charm, mm -hmm. I would either leave enough room at the top and I'll show you what I mean. I'll go like, go like this and then leave mm -hmm. an extra bit up here. Mm -hmm. And again, you don't have to be super, super careful either because a lot of this is going to shrink. So you don't need to have like, you know, every little last hair. So look at that butterfly on it. Dragonfly, you can get adhesive cutting. Like, you know, get them okay with, with that work. Okay. Hang on. So here's our light bulb with alcohol inks. There it is before it's shrunk. If I want to, mm -hmm. I can bring in my hole puncher and hole punch up here on that little bit that I left. Or if I want, I can just hole punch here. Mm -hmm. So in other words, I can cut this off and just hole punch. But in this case, you know what? Let's leave that. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go for the bigger one because I know it's gonna shrink big time, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole idea. There's my hole. And now, let's see how far we can push this baby to the limit. You ready? So we're gonna put, again, frosted side up and then our little screen. Then I'm going to grab, you know what, let's start with low heat, with a more even heat, just to make sure we have a control situation. It's going to take a little longer, but let's at first get used to what we're doing. One second, please. I have to look down. Can you guys see? I hope I'll try and go at an angle. Oh, it's starting to curl. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Nice. See how this piece is not coming up and over? I don't know. Let's see. That's a pretty big light bulb still. Yeah. I'm going to make sure it's all shrunk. Because I'm not going directly over it. I'm kind of doing it from the side so you guys can see. 
I think it's fully shrunk. That's a big light bulb. All right now, quickly, we're going to take this off and we're going to tamp it by pressing down. And hopefully, if you need to remelt it, you always can. But let's hope I got it right. Oh no, I missed that end. Oh, I'm going to have to reheat it. But that is so cute. No, I put too much heat on one side. Oh, it would have been so cute. But I created a big old bubble there. Boo. At least I know I can use alcohol inks and they would have looked so cool. It's like a stained glass window. But I created a big old bubble there. Boo. Okay. Not that one. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Trial and error. Okay. Okay, Cindy. All looks cool, up. though, Melinda says. Yeah, except they got a big old bubble, so it's ruined. That's okay. We'll do another one. And I think, I think I'm going to come in frosted side, mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to come in with the regular um, heat gun. Mm -hmm. Especially if I'm trying, well, no, I'm sorry. You guys are not going to be able to see it. I'm going to come in from the top. Mm -hmm. That way I can apply even heat. Okay, so there's that one. Now, let's color this one in. So what's the ink drawing before you heat it, Angel says? Uh, mostly. Probably not all the way. But up to some... Oh, can I blend? You think so? I don't know. Where are my, do I have an orange somewhere? What is this? It's like a peach. Does it work? <laughs> it's all about trial and error. At least I do have one good thing. I like the sample dirt. You use the sample. Yes, this, oh, it's the best. Actually, this is a two piece thing. This is the other piece. So you can either stamp over and over again in the mm -hmm. same spot by because you're being guided by these, mm -hmm. or you can use it free form, which is how I mostly use it. When you have new pasta pens, you need to shake them. And then you'll notice that the mm -hmm. nib is white. You need to prime them. And you do that by just pressing down on that nib and holding it. And then the color will start to absorb into that nib mm -hmm. and it kind of wicks out from inside. I'll show you once it starts to come out. You can see it coming out. I like that. Do you sell the them, Maddie? The Pascas? Yeah. So you see the orange starting to come, mm -hmm. that peach. And so you just keep pumping it until it is all the way out. And usually the first time you use them takes the longest because you, you know, it's a brand new barrel. But I like markers, but they're but they go on everything. The Posca pens are for everything. I mean, I'm talking about like skateboards. Oh, it's pretty much the same color. Shoes, Shoes plastic, glass. Metal. Metal, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty much the same color. Can Meh. You use them in a... Meh. Can you use them on your phone case? I can't see a difference. Yeah, phone cases, anything. She had them on sale both maybe three weeks ago, four weeks ago, maybe even more. Yeah, it's been a little bit. That didn't do nothing for yeah. me. It looked the same as the yellow. Well, very similar, we should say. So we'll mm -hmm. just go with yellow. Pasca, Cindy says. Yes, Pasca. So yes, we have them in store. So if anybody's interested. Hi, Jenny. And these, we have them in store as well. Hey, Jenny. Are you ready for VIP night? I hope so. Yeah, you can see a little bit of color variance. Yeah, it does show some highlights. Not bad. Again, I'm not too worried because remember, this is a craft for the messy um, doodler because hey. you are not going to see pretty much any of this. I should have left this white oh, spot good. should have been bigger. You know why? Because it's going to shrink to nothing. Ready? Mm. The stamp. 
tool you have for what is it called? We are memory keepers. <laughs> Give me a second. Let the brain work. Um, mini stamping platform or something. I'll look. I'll give you a link. Give me two seconds. I know I should know, right? It's one of my favorite tools. Platform stamping block or something. Okay. So there we go. Actually, well, well, this is drawing. How do you do join the IT pills, please? Um, in the video that you're watching, there is a join button right underneath your feed, right underneath this it's picture. Yes, VIP is tonight. Don't you miss it, Lindy. Um, so again, there's a join button. All you need to do is click on that button, and mm -hmm. it's going to give you three choices. I mean, there is a small video that you can watch but it's going to give you three choices to join there are three levels 2.99 is a supporter it's just a way for you to buy us a cup of coffee um yep. it does have some perks like um like custom emojis and stuff like that mm. but the real perks kick in at level two which is a second level that is the student level and that student level allows or it gets you entry into all of the exclusive classes all of the exclusive content, craft alongs, workshops, all that fun stuff, game nights. Yes, so you said, yes, I have an encounter, but I forgot what we're doing is whatever is what we're doing. So he says, All right, give me one second and I'm going to finish okay. explaining. That was level two. I'm sorry. Level three, which is the last one, is the VIP. That one is $14.99 a month. It's all flat fee, by the way. So it's not, there's no extra fees involved per class or anything like that. Um, that one gets you access to everything, including VIP nights, which is where we kind of all hang out uh, together in a circle around the table. Everyone's got little boxes here on screen and we're all just crafting. If you want to be on the panel, you can. If you just want to be in chat, you can. If you want to be um, just without a camera, you can. So, you know, lots of choices there. All right, so Bill we've says, got the light bulb. Bill says, thanks for the intro. You're welcome, of course. It is a monthly fee, and you can cancel any time. But you get access to all of it, so it's great. No. Let's try this one. You ready? Cindy was asking a question. Hang on. I'm going to hit this one. See if we can do better with this one. Let's. Oh, I forgot to do the punch hole. Sure did. Oopsie. <laughs> After the fact. Sorry. There we go. It might have been that the other one wasn't dry. Yep. Oh, how cute. Oh, it's hot. It's still a little warm. What a cutie patootie. Look. Oh, I didn't do a punch hole though. But that's so cute. We can do a paper clip. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute. Okay. All of the question about moving between the calendar by a supporter. Yes, I have the calendar, but I forgot what we were doing. I know I have whatever it is we're doing. For the VIP nights, the VIP nights is craft on whatever you'd like. It's a night where we just all basically imagine if we were all just hanging around a table. table and crafting and you bring your stuff and you craft, you know, we talk about stuff, we ask questions, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just the night to hang out okay. and craft on whatever you'd like. Now, sometimes folks have questions and they'll say, uh, you know, I've had Posca pens. I don't know how to use them. What do you guys do? You know, and then everyone kind of jumps in and we might do some demos, you know, but it's basically just a hangout night. Chatting. Yeah. Uh, I did have a question about moving between the academy and VIP. Suppose you did uh, VIP. Not for me. I'm going to just stick with the academy. Hey, that rocks. Huh? <laughs> what? I don't know, I don't know Cindy. Anything, the question is, do I lose your time with the academy? 
Oh, I understand why you're asking me. Yes, I think I understand why you're asking me. Um, so the way the academy works is you can always go up and you don't lose your place, right? If And what she's talking about, guys, is tenure, basically. So the longer you are in the academy, you see those... Hi, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Aloha. You see those buttons people have and that they're green? Those are all academy members. If you notice... Um, they have some of them have different colors because you get different badges. At Ori, hey Ori, hello, hello. Where is Christy? You know, there's a six month, twelve month, two year that kind of thing, and you want to hit those milestones because there's extra things in there for you when you hit those extras, right? So you can go up in levels, Cindy, and not lose your place. Mm -hmm. If you go down in levels, you lose your place. Rochelle, what did I miss? Everything. No, we're just playing. We're messing around and discovering what works and what doesn't work right here. Right next to me, Ori says. Yay. Hello, Christy. Hello, hello. Or should I say, excuse me, hola? Because now Christy's in Panama. They're having a blast. Hi, Brian. He says, hello. hello. Hey, Brian. I need another sheet. My friend, Christy. All right, now we're trying the Graphic 45 Hybrid, which I know it's going to take longer to dry for sure. There is no Christy. doubt. Um, I was, I was, did you cut out the were you guys sleepyheads this morning? Yeah, I bet you Christy's tired. It is a long flight. I need a paper towel. Really, it's a long flight. It's a long flight. How many hours did you say? Depending on connections, it all depends. I don't think there's a straight flight out. Look, we made Shrinky Dink light bulb. How adorable. With Copics. All right, now we're going to try this butterfly. But again, we're going to look and see. We are, we are at the ball eating. Oh, cool. Yeah, see, it's still a little wet. Uh, we were going to try what? We, what are we going to try? I guess while you guys think in chat, I will use Pascas. Because this is a lot of detail. Pencils would have been good for this, too. Said, Chrissy, I got my t-shirt. Is this dry? I hope it won't smear. What I don't think it's fully eat? dry. Or are, you, you guys, are you guys at a cafe in the mall or just at a restaurant? Right. Again, I'm not being neat. You notice right here. Let me show you the ugly side. I'm not being neat. And then look how pretty it looks on the outside. See? You don't have to be careful. Wow. You know what Ori said? What? It was a day and a half, Madison. What was a day and a half? Her flight. Holy canolas. What? No. -uh. Why? That's a huge layover. Where on earth did they park you? So then it says alcohol markers, alcohol markers might work too, like your alcohol rain purse. Yep. I agree. Those would be fun. We can try them, right? Try anything. Try everything. Some stuff might hurt the shrinking process, and hey, that's the only way we're going to find out. Yeah. Oh, I just realized there's a fairy. Oh, yeah, I remember the stamp. There are three what fairies. What fairy? So there's a fairy here. See her wings? And then no. there are two on the side, too. So let me get my gold. Does anybody see gold? No. Mm, yeah, here. Wait, Let's what? do some gold wings. What, honey? They have, they have a lot of cafes at malls, don't they? Oh, yeah. Let's do their wings in gold. Okay, and over here. And then what else do we want to do? Let's do, I don't know, green? Mm. And I'll be looking up in a second, guys. Sorry. Let me just get this going so that we can the actually. On the Posca, I love the look on the Posca pens. I only had colors of Posca pens. Oh, the Posca pens are or he says, I left yesterday, let, 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 hey, Houston yesterday, today, Houston, the town. 
Jeez Louise. Like, so you had to, you had a, an overnight stay. That's nuts. Let's do some of these flowers up here in gold. Again, I'm not actually coloring a flower, guys. I'm just like creating a blob because I know on this side, it's going to be okay. And again, this is the hybrid ink, so I probably should have waited a little longer, just a little bit. But you know what? I'm impatient. And if I was doing this by myself, I would probably set it off to the side and like do a bunch of stamping and then come in and do all yes, the coloring, yes. right? Yes, that's love. It is. It is. Oh, and it's fun too. I mean, you guys are going to have a blast. So that's just awesome. Why is that? Why is it awesome? Don't you like to have fun, Madison? Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a little space I missed. Some other dots I missed. And again, I'm just being messy. I'm just basically putting paint wherever, guys. I saw the pictures in the group, Ori and Christine, right? Yes, we're so excited. Keep them coming. We need a blue. We need a blue. That was... Oh, this one's new. Did, I haven't used did it. Felipe meet Christy Ori? Okay. All right, so we're making a messy, messy butterfly in the front. Hopefully, it'll work on the back. Oh, I got to prime it first. It's a new one. I like the blue one. Yeah, I like it too. I like the teal, though. The teal is gorgeous. You can't really see it on camera. It looks like it's blue. But hopefully, this one will show up better. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Okay. We need some blue up here. Yeah. Where else? Some here. I'm it's just going through places is it too that I've much missed. Noisy here, or he says. Huh? Is it too much noisy here? It's too much. Oh no! Is it loud? You can't hear us. Tell him to be quiet. Or you will connect <laughs> later. Okay, sounds good. Don't forget VIP night. You got to be hanging out with us tonight, I hope. Okay, so. There we go. That looks so cool. All right, super messy. Yuck. Super pretty. Yay. All right, let's cut that out. Let's make sure it's dry. Again, I think my impatience is getting the best of me. Um, you know what, Madison? What was what were the other ideas? What were they, guys? Pencils and what? Color. Somebody said coloring said pencils. Color. Somebody said color pencils. I don't know. Coloring pencils and what was the other one, guys? I don't know. Because it's almost seven, so. You ready? I know, right? And again, I'm not fussy cutting, guys. I am basically cutting. just following the silo the, the line the shape, but I'm not going to go into it. You guys know I love fussy cutting. You see how? Angel says chalk. Chalk. Okay. Yes, I can do Lisa's that. Alcohol markers, maybe. Okay. Let's see how much time we have. One thing wow. at a time. Those are, oh, those oh. Be local prong. Sounds fine in UK. Oh, yeah. She's she's at the mall in Panama. <laughs> Phil, so, so it's pretty loud for her. They're at the mall. Um, in Panama. Chrissy's on vacation with Oriana out there. So, yes. Okay. So, I did remember to leave the little um, space for our, whatchamacallit this time, our hole punch so we can dangle this if we want to. Chalk is, chalk, chalk is fine. Love that my chalk once came out, yes. Cool. Okay, so I have to try it. See, I yeah. have to try it, Belinda. You might turn out cute. They might. All right. You want try the color? center. Nope. Okay, got my little hole. Again, not super great cutting, but we're just trying stuff now, so I'm not too worried. Okay, this is big too, so ooh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, and there's a right way and a wrong way, by the way. See this little shape here. This has got to be flat so that it sits. The screen is flat. If you put it this way, you have a gap here. See? So make sure that your screen is sitting flat. Wish me luck. There it goes. 
it's curling oh big time oh my gosh i don't know oh this one might be it And tamp it. Tamp, tamp, tamp. Hold it. Did it work? I think so. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. This is too cute. Let me see. Okay, seriously? Oh, hot. That is too stinking cute. Look at this. Can you stand it? Oh my gosh. And you can still see the little fairy in there. That's adorable. Okay, that is super cute. All right, so we've got one good light bulb, one good butter. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. And a really deformed one. That was the first one. And again, it might be the alcohol ink. We'll have to try it again. I don't know. Nothing ventured. Nothing. I mean, nothing. Try nothing ventured. Madison, uh, we need what? What did we need next? Chalks. No. Coloring pencils. Okay, I need, I need one of those. Maybe so. Isn't it neat? It's so stinking cute. And I love it. Now I, I'm not afraid to do big things, you know? Pencils, pencils, pencils. Let's do some pencils. Okay. Let's make a big old mess. Good idea. What color do you use? I don't know. And what stamp shall we use? Let's use a dragonfly. Yeah, right? Oh, that ladybug is too cute, though. Oh, mm, 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 mm. okay, dragonfly. Yeah. All right, we'll put it on our little stamping platform. Get our, our sheep back. And we did, since we're doing pencils, we can mm -hmm. go ahead with stays on. They're not going to have any alcohol in them whatsoever. The pencil's going to ruin it? Nope, pencils won't do anything. That we've done a million times since the kids were little. We've always done pencils. So that one is an easy one. Mm, where can we fit this baby? I guess let's go here. Do you like those tracing Yes. Oh, good. I didn't check to make sure it was on the frosted side. Are so I'm glad it worked out. Oh, pretty, here? pretty, 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 beautiful stamp. Are you guys still here? All right, let's go ahead and cool. air that out some. Doesn't take long. And then mm -hmm. we're just going to go in with whatever colors. Like it doesn't even matter at this point, does it? I'm going to try and mirror the other side. I make no promises, however, because we're just playing. You want to bake them? That would be cool if you could bake them with them. Don't need to bake anymore. No need for an oven or cookie sheets. We've just eliminated a whole bunch of stuff that we yes. used to have to do. I love it. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see it. I'm sorry. Oh, I guess I can zoom in. Should I zoom in? Is this? You think so? Let me know. And then let's use a, uh, how about yellow? Mm -hmm. And do the larger areas here. Lelo. Lelo. So what time is it in the UK? It's got to be like. Zoom oh, in. God, it's got to be Let super zoom late. In, please. Yeah, sure. It's got to be very, very late. There. Better? You know it's, you know it's late. Now I'm in your face. You know it's nice because they're pretty close to the time difference in, the, in France, Madison. They're getting ready for bed. Yep. No, they should way be in bed. It's about six hours, so it's like midnight. If I'm right. Maybe says yes. Okay. What else? Let's Thank just you, Nadine says. 
You're welcome. Yeah. Remind, remind me, guys, because I, you know, I don't see it from your perspective. And when I watch you guys, I watch you on the, uh, you know, on 12, a larger. 12, 13, 12 o'clock midnight in UK. Oh, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, Phil. That is late. I'm glad we can keep you company. So that must be really good for you because if you can't sleep, then you can hop on all the American uh, channels, right? And be able to hang out with us on the other side of the pond well, and have good, company all the to, time. It's good to meet uh, American people. All right, let's do a lighter green so something won't be so dark. Here we go. All right, so we're just going to do, again, I'm doing a super sloppy job because when we flip it over, it is going to look very pretty. So it doesn't matter how sloppy of a job I do. Not really. And then we're going to cut this out roughly. What's that on? I don't want to. If I live in France, I would have an earlier time zone. Yeah, you would be way asleep by now. All right. I'm going to cut this out so I can work with it better. And. Well, it's fun. It's what it is. Mm -hmm. And I guess we have to dangle this one, too. So let's Why? give it a nice place to be dangled from. Just keep new stuff quiet, our new community. To the crafting community. Well, I'm so glad you found us then. That's wonderful. We do all kinds of crazy stuff around here. You never know. But it's always crafting, you know? You just don't know what kind of crap. Yeah. <laughs> We're always experimenting with new things, which is great. Okay, there we go. So we've got a little hole. We're going to heat it. Frosted side up. Again, put our screen down. Make sure that it's nice and flat. And we go. Nice to see I like the fact that it can even hold this down. I mean, it's heavy enough that it won't fly off, but I can hold on to it, which is great. I can even use this if I wanted to. Oh, there it goes. Take it. Oh, this is bigger. Oh my goodness. I, no, I'm not even going to tamp it. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not tamping that down. No way am I tamping that down. Do you want to see what happened? The wings bubbled like that. Look, it's 3D. Oh, come on, focus. There. Look it. I am not pressing that down. No way, Jose. They mainly use my computer. How cool is that? That's cool. Look at the back side. But look at this. So some yeah, of these crunkle, might be awesome. It crunkle, not crunkle. Yeah, it created like bubbled wings, literally dimensional wings. So maybe like flowers, roses, wings are not necessary Very for neat. you to press them all the way down. You can actually leave them and create 3D effects. That crunkle. is so cool. Feels oh my cool. gosh. Yes. I mainly use my computer for crafting using a program called My Craft Studio. I've never heard of it. What does it do? All right. So we did pencils. Pencils oh, no, were super chalk. easy. It's a chalk. Yes. Let's stamp something else. Let's stamp a... Ooh, I'm almost tempted to do a flower, but a big flower. Belinda says pretty. What do you want to say? And then, thank you, Belinda. Thanks. What if we do a big flower? Oh, God. Now I feel like I'm in your face. Hang on. What if we do a big flower and try and let it bubble and see what happens? I think it's good. Because that's just a whole new thing. I mean, we've been doing shrinky dinks since we were kids, but flat like this. I've never thought of leaving a shrinky dink dimensional. I absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. Which one shall we use? I know which one. We've got two choices here. 
Oh, you got two choices. Was that one the one on your right? This one? Yeah. Okay. It's like a lotus flower almost. All right, let's do that. Ooh, look at that example. Maybe we should replicate that in tiny. Wowzers, that is a big stamp. It's now we're huge. really going to push this to the limit, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Oh, gosh. That is a huge stamp. Okay. We need, oh no, nothing is going to work now. We need a brand new sheet. This is big. And we were using what? Chalk. Uh -huh. Okay. But no, this one, I almost wish it was a flower with petals. Ah, that might work. Because I want the, like a rose, you know how rose has petals? I would love for it to do the same bubbling and mm -hmm. not flatten it, but with petals. Yeah. Anyway, we'll try with this. Chalks. Not chalk paint. You want chalk chalk, right? Like regular chalks. Chalk paint or chalk regular? I'm sure it's chalk regular if I can find them. They're in the, they're in the second one. Well, they're in a bag. Just grab the bag oh out. Oh my goodness, look! Yay me! What is it? I got chocolate. Here, I'll help me. It's melted. Is it melted? You never know what you're going to find. Hang on. Where are the chalks? In the second drawer next to the filing cabinet, Mom. These are all. Mom. Where? This way? Filing cabinet. Filing cabinet. Here? In the last drawer. Last bin. On the bottom? Yeah. Oh, look at you go, girl. She said, yes, chalk sticks. Yes. Madison was on it. Wait, those are oil pastels. Chalk sticks. I used them with my finger to blend use makeup applicators too. What's the difference between oil pastels and chalk? Hmm? Oil pastels? Mm -hmm. uh, more oily. Where chalks are more Chalky. like chalk. Yeah, they're like chalk. All right. And anyway, now we know both inks will work. Oh, mm -hmm. I keep forgetting to use the other one because... Can you show me how chalk works on there? Yeah, we did chalk at co-op. Don't you remember these? These are yours from co-op. We didn't do them on, on that kind of thing. Oh, not on... Yeah, no, not on Shrinky Dinks. We did not. You're right. We do them on. I, forgot. I don't remember, honey. Coaster? I've taught so many classes, I can't keep up. I can't remember. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think we did do, do a couple of those. Frosted side. Phil says an MOC program making something. Huh. Cool. Awesome. Appreciate it, Phil. Good to know. See, you never know when you're going to learn something new. Ooh, that's, that's pretty. That's it's interesting, Phil. Look at that. What oh, my cool goodness. Idea. Okay. So do Let's just, whatever. Let's just try and use this for a guy, for inspiration, because, you know, it saves time, and it's already after seven. Again, don't need to be careful, because, as I keep reminding you folks, you can see from the front that it looks absolutely clean. So we're going to do person. kind of like a red on the outside here. They're like little crayon chopsticks, aren't they? Yeah. They're just like crayons, pretty much. Then we're going to do blue, I guess, on the outside. outside. On the inside, excuse me. No you know what I'm thinking? Mm. Hmm. What? Dear Lord, that's scary. <laughs> My crocodile just fell. Woo! Mm -hmm. You scared me instead. Too. Sorry. I want some green in here. There's no green in there. No it green. is now. There is. Oh, I forgot. am I zoomed out again? I think so. Maybe. There. I don't know. Okay. Chalks it is, Angel. Let's see what happens. All right, and then blue. And again, not Probably. being super, super neat. 
Let's see how it's looking. It looks pretty from this side. Oh, wow. That's going to be pretty. And the chalks are really vibrant. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, they are. We need to think of another medium we haven't used yet. Alcohol know. inks are the same thing as alcohol markers. So what else can we think of, guys? I like to have another go with alcohol inks because I am not, I'm not done with that idea yet. What about wax fix? No, that'll not work, honey. Maybe. But that's Are a you good going idea. To fix it with Lexan or hairspray. Fix what? Oh, the back of it. Probably a fixative. Hairspray. You can do with hairspray. Yeah. Hairspray. The only problem with hairspray is that um, things will turn yellow. So. Not on black. On black, it's okay. But on white. I it... like how you can blend the, the chalks with your finger, too. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to blend with some, the chalk. Yes, yes, I agree. You know, the chalk. Yes, I already answered the chalk. Good. All right, yellow. Lello. Lello. Hey, baby. What you doing? And yes, blending is delicious. If you're working on surfaces and you just want to do one of those and kind of you know, create like an ombre effect. Oh, that would be cool. Like on the light you bulb, don't. if we wanted to do like an ombre effect, oh, mm -hmm. that would be awesome. Well, said you don't need to fix it if once you shrink it because they set the chalk. I think so. We'll have to test it. You know what? But either way, we will test it. Yes, hairspray and the cheaper, the better, by the way. Don't buy a, um, an expensive hairspray. Is great for setting um, a lot of things. However... However, you have to be careful because hairspray will turn yellow, uh, as I mentioned, except for on black. So for that, you do want to use a good um, fixative. Mm -hmm. um, now, technically, I could have gone in there with my Posca pens and none the black and white details, yeah. but we're not going to go there. Plain pastels chalk, but different. Aquanet. I don't know what Aquanet. Yeah, Aquanet. The cheaper, the better. Seriously. Mm -hmm. If you can go to the dollar store and get cheap, um, or the pound store, Fair spray. and get, although it's not even a pound anymore, is it? It's not a dollar. That's a lie. False advertisement. What, what price is it? I don't know. Everybody keeps saying a dollar something, and now I think they're going to go up again. So. $1.25. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Is it $1.25? Uh, I don't know. It's been so long since we've been in a dollar store. Ah, okay. That's it. I'm not fighting with you no more. Did you know, did you guys know that dollar store has canned food? They have everything at the dollar store. I kid you not. Balloons. Yeah. That's my go-to place for balloons. Because nice. nobody else comes close to their place. Party City? No. Party City is more expensive. If you want cheap balloons, you go to the dollar store. After all, balloons are only meant to last for the party, right? And then they're just annoying. Why are they annoying? Why are they annoying? Because they're in the way. And it's plastic. And I hate having to... Have even more plastic on this planet. Okay. Dollar Tree is one twenty-five, but they have another another price too. Now they're doing three and five. Yeah. See. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is big. <laughs> that is almost the size of the thing in my Bobby. Okay. I love experimenting. Where's my heat gun? Oh, there yeah. it is. Again, that's okay. I'll glue it onto something. I do. 
Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Cook it. I don't want to flatten it. It looks awesome. Should I stop there? Oh my gosh. I want to stop. What if I just stop right there? Just stop, 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 and don't. Is that too? I should probably heat it some more. That's a little too much texture. Whoa, that's cool, but no, that's a little too much texture. Ah! Oh, will I be able to reheat it now? I don't know. I don't know now. It's gorgeous, but I think it's too much texture. I don't think it wants to shrink anymore. Oh no. Wow. Say what? Make good Christmas tree ornaments. Oh yes, but no, I didn't. I should have not stopped. I stopped. Keep shrinking the circle shape. Yeah, I should have. Bummer. Oh look, it's coming off. High because it's not sealed all the way. I didn't. No, no one's. It'll stop shrinking. Shrinking. Well, yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. That's it. Oh well, we have a very um wonky flower. <laughs> and I need to seal it because the back didn't shrink all the way. I don't think that all the pigment it's went tiny, into the plastic. Oh man. It, it made I loved it when it was all bubbled. Most all right. Sets one complete shrinking like glass. I know, and it does. It's beautiful. The colors are stunning, but it's all wonkified. Wah, wah, wah. All right, so that's another failed one. Much, All right. Much. I'm not sure, babe. Okay, so let's try mm. this one. What time is it? Uh, 7, 18, 19. Okay. 18, 19. All right, let's try this one. Not so beautiful. It's beautiful, the colors. The color in the stamp is gorgeous, but try. not what I did. I stopped because I wanted it to bubble, but I guess there's a certain point where, you know, it's kind of like blown glass. Mm -hmm. It's either going to be a totally awesome or it's going to be an epic failure. I have to try this. When I get the shrinky thing, I use my pan pals. Pan, pan pastels, yeah. I, we can try some oil pastels. I don't have pan pastels, I don't think. Mm -mm. No. All right, what are we going to try? We're going to try, oh, let's do the alcohol ink again. I am determined to try that again. Um, Cranberry? Ladybug? Sure. What do you think? I say it is. I say ladybug. What, did, what ink did I use? Oh, no, not again. What ink did I use? Alcohol ink? I don't remember. Poopy That's scoopy. Pearl, isn't it? I don't remember now. It's too late. I don't know. Because you know. Doing. There you go. We're gonna do this my way, like Elvis. Elvis? What do you mean? Oh, it's a long story. That one's running. Oof, that's running. Yeah, more importantly is is it gonna stay because I don't know what I used. Mm -mm. I don't think it came off. I don't think it's smudged. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty, though. Yeah. Bye, Phil. Thanks Bye, for stopping Phil. in. Just see you on another stream. See ya.
Have a good night. Good night. Okay. Take care. Bye bye, Grandma. Mm hmm. Actually, I wish I could go over those black dots some more. Mm -hmm. I didn't do such a hot job on. What happens if we go over it on this side? Mm hmm. 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 Oh, that looks like watercolors almost. What happens? What do you guys think? I'm not sure. How about we find out together? <laughs> uh, we could use a marker. We could use, do I have a black Posca? I think you did in there somewhere. I saw it. And if not, you know what? We have a black permanent. I know those work because I've used those with the kids. But I've never colored on this side. Has anybody in chat colored on this side? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm not going to get all those details. That's impossible. I almost feel like stamping. Bill says, at first, second time, wherever I enjoy the show, thank you, Bill says. Oh, good. I am not, Michelle says. Neither have I. Let's try and see if I can stamp it again. Sometimes I get lucky if I stand oh, so up. the first time, second viewer, I enjoy those live. I'm trying not to put my head in Why? the frame. Why? Nobody needs to see my big old head. Not bad. Wow. Okay, Maddie. Go, Maddie. Go, Maddie. Good job. Look at that. I got it right on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a flower? Nope. It's a ladybug. It's a beautiful ladybug. Hmm. Shall we give it... Anything else? Seven thirty-three. Is it really? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going. This is fun, though. Now I'm going to keep playing with it. I'm probably just going to keep playing with the stuff. Seriously. When? Tonight. I want to. I want to try some other mediums, and I want to see what works, and I want to see. Like right now, I'm bound and determined mm -hmm. to figure out if it was the alcohol ink, if it was me. What was it? Obviously, I did not cut this right, did I? Nope. Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't. Oh, we were going to try and do a little bit of black on the top side Are you and see if it works. Still here. And who wants to hang out tonight for a VIP with us? Me? Okay. Ready? Would you like me, like me to post my shrinking plastic dangles? Yes. In the group by using chalk. Yes, share. of course. Guys, I the answer to, do you want me to share? The answer is always yes. Always yes. And, you know, I think a lot of people get confused. It doesn't even have to be Spectrum Art Creations products that you're using. Now, to enter the giveaways, they have to be our products. But if you're working on knitting, crocheting, I don't know, a quilt, you can post anything you want. Mm -hmm. Anything, home repair, I don't know, if you're painting a wall. Share it, share it, share it. Okay, mm -hmm. so we've I've added more black on the shiny side. Mm -hmm. And let's see what happens. Does it affect it any? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's find out together. That was super quick because it's tiny. Does it do anything? Did it do anything? No. I think the heat gun is too hot, guys. I really do. Yeah. I don't like that at all. Let's do it again. Oh. Could it be the alcohol ink? Oh. Let's try it again. Let's change the variable. Let's do the exact same thing. Still use the high heat. But, 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 use a different medium and not the alcohol inks. Let's eliminate the alcohol inks and see if that's what's doing it. Why don't we? Too Let's, much change thing too. Mm, 
I'm having a feeling it might be the alcoholics because I just realized that's the second time it's done the exact same thing as the light bulb. Look, it almost like it warps or bubbles in certain places. It creates these bubbles. Let's just grab a red pencil real quick and color this just to give it some color so it's not transparent. And that's all. Super quick. Let's test it and find out. And Lisa, you're still add, here? Let's add, I don't know, something else down here. Lisa, what do you have for supper? All right. I need to make pigment. You think it's the heat? Okay, let's true. try it. It could be too much direct heat. It could be alcohol inks. This is the second one. We'll try it without. I should have stamped more than one. We'll try it with pencils, right? Now we got pencils and let's see what happens. And then if that still doesn't work, then we'll change the heat. And let's see. Hey, nothing works unless you experiment. That's mm -hmm. the bottom line. So it's all about playing. Play, play, play. And sometimes, what do I tell you in the videos? Sometimes it's more about finding out what not to do. Oh, yeah. Oops, I keep forgetting. one is better. I have a feeling I'm still getting bubbles though. I have a feeling. Mm, no, I still not a conclusive hypothesis. All right, let's do it again. Now let's switch. Let's switch heat guns. Let's switch it up. And this time I'm not even going to color it guys. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm going to stamp a few and we're just going to go for it and see Mm -hmm. different ways, different mediums, different everything until we find out, oops, that one lost its head. <laughs> oh, no. Poor guy. I'm sorry. Here, I'll try and give you a head. There, he's got a head now. Okay. All right, here we go. Wait, 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 sorry, what was this <laughs> Poor guy. I was in such a rush. I didn't give him a head. Did we leave one blank? Yes, right? We left the blank one? No, we haven't left the blank one. We're going to leave one with nothing. We're going to leave one with... We're going to do one with just random Copic. Because the first ones worked, like the light bulb worked, right? So now I'm starting to think it could be the heat, but we'll try all of them. So this is, this is Posca. The Posca is going to be red. Somebody remember that. The, yeah, they're going to be crazy um, little ladybugs. The pencil is going to be green. You know what? I could just leave them on the table so we don't forget. Um, the chalk pastel is going to be what color? Yellow. I'm just going to make a mess on it. And the alcohol ink is going to be, we're going to try alcohol ink again. Um, what color have we not done? Purple? That's kind of dark. Let's go with coral. It could be. It could be. Who knows? At this point in time, we're going to have to figure out which variable is not working for us. Okay. I'm just going to let that dry. Oops. Should have left that out. Oh, that's kind of close to the red, isn't it? Mm. We should have gone with blue. Scratch that. 
let's do a blue. Let's toss that actually. We are mad scientists on a quest. We're gonna work until we figure it out, right? Blue. Thank goodness for master soap because my hands are a disaster right now. All right, and we're going to dry some of that up so we know that's not it. Okay, are we ready? Nope, not this color here. So we've done all these. Here we go. Again, just a rough, super rough cut. We're not interested in keeping any of these. We are simply going to test. Because why did the light bulb work so wonderfully? What, did I use slow heat on that one, guys? Do you guys remember? But the, you know, the butterfly worked too, and I used a hot, the uh, the heat gun. Maybe I'm too close. Should I be further? Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And last. But not least, alcohol ink again. <laughs> All right. What shall we start with? Let's start with the Copic because that gave us the best result, right? Now, the Copic was the red. Let's go with that and let's go with low heat. So let me take all the stuff off so it's not affected. Frosted side up, yep. Patience, folks. Sometimes it's more about patience. Yeah, this definitely takes longer, but it might just cook it evenly. I think those bubbles are caused by like super direct heat. Maybe I'm just too close. I need to move further away. All right, there it goes. It's shrinking. It's curling, but it's not sticking to itself. It's on starting to unfurl. And now let's lift. Nope, the same thing. So what am I doing? What am I doing that is not working, guys? Yeah. Hmm. And that was low heat. All right, who wants to uh to give me an opinion? Because now I'm baffled. All right, the green was the pencil. That didn't play anything into it. Am I not leaving it on long enough? Should I keep going? The red was the Copic, which was like the safest bet. That was this one. And look how beautiful that turned out. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. This one was the coloring pencils, turned out beautiful. So what was the difference between this and that? Why is it bu bubbling and not flattening back out? What did I do different in these that I haven't done with this? Hmm. Mm. You think red, no matter what, what it is, and just because it's red? Yeah, I'm on the correct side. I'm on the 
Hi, Jess. Hey, Jess. Maybe go a little longer? <laughs> Maybe. Hi, Gaz. Hi, Gaz. Welcome, welcome. Maybe too hot. Maybe go a little longer. All right, so let's hold the heat up further away and and leave it on a little longer. Let's see if that's it. Let's try that. Now I'm much further away. Before I was like an inch off. Now I'm like five inches away. I'm trying to let you guys see though. I love the dragonfly though. That is like my favorite. I hope that happens again. I like to make some more of those. Why did the first ones work and these won't? Hmm. Oh, Belinda. Well, I'm sure she knows. Highly pigment. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see if it's a pigment. Let's try this green one. The green one was coloring pencil. So we've changed the distance. We've changed the medium and we've changed the heat level. Let's see. Hey, these are all just guesses. Exactly. What did I do the first time that I didn't do the following times? Kind of weird. I don't know. But it could be the red. Hmm. No, but this one didn't have red. Oh, I think that's when I stopped too soon, right? Was that the one I stopped too soon? On the outside, outside. Okay. This is taking forever, though. Seriously. I, I'm going to have to come in closer. I am not this patient. Oh, that's Jess. Right, Madison? Yeah. Blue Room Crafts is Jess? Definitely. Yeah. All right, there it goes. Slowly, though. It's like molasses. I don't know. It's just curling like this now because I'm only going on the outside. I think that doesn't work. Nope. It's curling literally like this, like a ball. Now, it's not letting it stick to itself because it's got the mesh on it. But the center didn't cook at all. Nope. That was not it either. What on earth just happened? You guys don't even want to see this. It's like a ball of something. So the centers, the center didn't curl because we try to put the go around with the heat on the outside. So the outside started to curl, right? And and form, but the the center didn't cook. Nope. That didn't work either. That's not it. So let's not go on the outside anymore. <laughs> Jeez, Louise and crackers. All right, let's bring back the high heat because I can't deal with the slowness. Oh, you know what? This is moving around though. Hang on. I need to maybe hold it down. I am going to go a little further out. Okay, I'm not going to get that close as I did before. Nope. 
Well, maybe. Nope. Better, but no. I don't think so. No. Same thing. Well, no, wait, maybe not. Oh, no. That worked. Okay. We got one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. So I had higher heat. And what? What did I do that was different? Further away? It's adorable. It's got like a little pucker right there. But it's still super cute. Okay. What did I do different? What is the consensus? Oh, blue is the ultimate test. That's the alcohol ink. That seems to like melt holes into it. I think maybe when the alcohol gets heated, it might want to ignite. I don't know. What do you guys think? That one worked though. We got one. We got one. We got one. So cute. It's adorbs. Any thoughts before I hit it again? Here comes the alcohol ink, which is like the one, right? Yeah, the hot heat gun definitely worked better. There's no doubt. But what? I don't know. Well, let's try the alcohol ink. Because that one's the toughest. I'm going to get closer. Hi, Auntie. All right, there it goes. Hi, Auntie. We're playing and experimenting and trying it. That alcohol ink wants to bubble. There is no doubt about it now. It's flat. It's flat as a pancake, right? But notice one thing. Look it. See the bubbles? I think the alcohol ink just has a tendency to want to bubble on the stuff. I, like that one. I think. I think that's my theory. I'm just saying. I am just saying. It is flammable. Yeah, it does make mm -hmm. sense. I think when it gets heated, it's to the point where it like wants to reignite. So so maybe not. When you have time, try the mini pancake maker too. Yeah. I think this is so much easier. And I one of the frustrating things for me always is that longer things tend to bubble and you know, like curl up. But I think that that this is quite awesome. Now, of course, I'm just kind of, you know, whatever. I just want to test it again and see. I think part of the impatience is not paying off because most of the stuff that I'm putting on there, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's still wet. 
See it? It's still wet and shiny. So that might be part of it. It's just my lack of patience. Yeah, that's why I want to do it long. I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens. But it's still wet. Dry. And I think that might be what's causing the bubbles. If you notice, you can see the wet spots on there. And I'm putting it on while this stuff is still wet. And that might be part of the reason too. So. Elizabeth, I'm so happy to see you all beautiful and sweet nieces tonight. Come on. Um, see, I'm going to have to take it off because I oh, just don't have the patience. Happy to see you all, my beautiful nieces. Thank you, Auntie. I took off most of the paint. I'm impatient. Let's try it. Who doesn't like porridge? There you go. Flat as a pancake. Perfect. Hmm. So what is... Oh, see how perfect of an example is that? It has to do exactly with it not being dry. I just figured it out. It's my lack of patience. I can see where I didn't let it dry. There's a little bit of a tiny, tiny bubble. But there you go, guys. So it's, it's okay to use this. It's okay to use... I guess everything but alcohol inks. I don't think I'd try that again. Well, why not? I got five minutes. I think we should try it again. Because, you know, you just never know. That is a heart. Okay, guys. This time I'm going to dry it. Okay. I'm going to really, really wait. Because that's, I think, part of the problem is that it's wet. You have eight minutes? You have eight minutes? Yeah. Okay, Mom. All right, come on, try, 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 try. It's like a fun seeing you all experience. Well, it's also good to to learn that, you know, you got to be patient. This stuff is plastic. No matter what we think, it's plastic. And when I am leaving those wet spots or even damp spots, that is creating bubbles. And you can't. That's a no-no. Mm -mm. Now, I'm willing to try one more time with alcohol inks. And see if it's my lack of patience or we really, really, really should just stay away from alcohol inks. But I would love, I mean, well, we have so many other things we can use. But I would have loved to have seen if alcohol inks could do the job as well. Which I think after this. I'll post my journals to see that. The chalk use on yes, please. Make sure it's dry. Nope, still wet. Mm. See, that's the problem. Even when it looks dry, you have to really, really wait. All right. Let's do a heart. Sharpie is Yeah, it is. <laughs> so this is a double whammy. Let's do this. No, this is all markers dry much quicker than re, re inkers. cute but you still got a little pucker no matter what see it so i still say that alcohol links for me are a no-go folks no go that's my 
that is my consensus on those. What are you doing? I'm gonna do same hearts with the other mediums. Because yeah, every single time I've used the alcohol, I've gotten that little smudge. No, a little bubble in there. So mm -hmm. I do not recommend using alcohol inks with your shrinky dinks. Mm -hmm. Now the permanent markers do work because I've used them with my kids my entire life like you know since my kids were little so th that i do know but yeah the the alcohol links like the refills and whatnot mm -mm. i think they're just way too your vip has fun night crafting too i think that it's way too pigmented too concentrated and the alcohol content is probably enough. larger or more than we she, want it to be says, you vip have fun tonight crafting oh we too. are gonna have a blast yes indeed Yes, indeed. We always do. The refills might be too... Yeah. Totally. Totally agree. Okay, that's good. Not perfect because I don't have patience, but it's good. And then I think this is dry. All right, so no alcohols. Wah, wah, wah. Whoa. What happened? My little heart just went flying. Wow, this is teeny tiny. Lordy be. Maybe move the heat till around the little two. Yeah, maybe. Mm, it's cute. <laughs> Super tiny. Why is that one so much tinier than the other two? Were the other two that well, much well, smaller? Uh, Blooming Art says, I, I hate Houston, but I lived here so long I'm used to Why it. is that one so much tinier? It's cute, though. Okay. So, lessons learned. Do not use alcohol inks. No. And, and if you want them textured, you can kind of stop halfway. But if you don't like it, you get what you get. So, you know, kind of cool. But at the same time, you get what you get. Do not use alcohol inks. Mm -hmm. This was alcohol inks. This was alcohol inks. I think that was alcohol inks and the green oh, ladybug was alcohol inks. The so there you go. Said, Thanks for all the ideas. You're welcome. I'm sorry. It was not like, you know, it was more of a um, learn what not to do, I think. And I mean, we tried, we tried different heat guns. We tried different. Um, I don't one. think by Belinda, I honestly would be afraid to put this in my oven. So, you know, do not, even if you're like, well, I'm not going to use my heat gun. I don't think I would put alcohol inks in the oven. They, they almost seem like they want to create, I mean, it's like perfect holes almost. 
-hmm. you know, spot where it just the alcohol maybe pools and wants to ignite. So do not put alcohol inks in your oven. Well, this is it. Let's see the techniques, techniques as always. Yeah, well, it's always fun. It's always trial. Yeah. So I'm going to keep working and trying on them tonight, and uh, we'll see what kind of uh, things I learn. I'm going to try other things, too. Yep. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to see you all at VIP night. Give me like five minutes um, to just to go get some more water, uh, go to the restroom, and I will see you there. All right? Thank you so much for joining me for um, Friday Craft Along. And Belinda, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for all of the input and help and suggestions. I appreciate it. And I will see you all in five minutes at the Academy. All right. Good night. Oh, okay, Bye.